All right, guys. Um, just a little side note to the stuff I'm going to do right now in the car. Um, these are some new tires and wheels that are going to go on the car tomorrow. It is Tuesday, March 31st. Um, I'm getting a service to come to my house and balance them out on the tires, and then I will be putting them all myself. They are 235, 50, 17. Um, Firestone Indy Firehawk, or sorry, Indy 500s, my bad. And then we got the 17 by 8 plus 45 gold NK TS 10s. Um, and I got some hub centric rings as well. But yeah, so that'll be for tomorrow and I'll show you guys what that looks like. But uh, we're gonna go and install the uh, Diode Dynamics SS3 fog lights. All right, boys, uh, the car is up on two jack stands now. Uh, it's the front end's up. Um, sorry, I didn't film that, the battery died, but yeah, here are the uh, Diode Dynamics SS3 fog lights. They are the uh, SAE Sport version, clearly in yellow. And I got the adapters um, for the H16 harness because uh, this is a manual and doesn't have eyesight, which is blessed. So um, what we're going to do is um, take out the under splash tray of the bumper. Uh, it's not going to be the one in the main and the, in the center. It's going to be the two ones on the side. It's just a couple clips, uh, three ones that you know hold on the side skirts, whatever. Um, and I'm putting the camera down there, show you guys how to take those out, and then we'll um, pull off the fog bezels, and I'll show you how to do that as well. And we'll get onto the install. All right, boys. So yeah, we're down at the front of the car. I'm going to pull off the fog bezel. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. It's quite easy. So what you're going to do is you pull on the bezel but you pull towards this way so you can pop the clips out. I get the other side of the car. There we go. So yeah, uh, sorry, it's, I'm new to all this demonstration stuff, but yeah, so you pull it out to the side of the car and then kind of like pull up a little bit too so you can unlock the two tabs at the back. I'm gonna do that on the passenger side and then we'll do the under tray. All right guys, um, I don't know how much of this I'll be able to film because uh, my tripod doesn't go down much lower, but there is, um, clips here, 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 to there. A couple just holding this section on. It's not the main splash guard under the car. It's in the uh, closest to the fender wells. You pull those off and then you can get access to the harness and then unbolt the um, actual fog lights out from the car. But yeah, the clips are very easy to pop off. You just stick a, a little screwdriver in here, pop this out, you can pull the clip out. So yeah, we'll do that and I'll show you once the tray is removed. Artlist I.O. Okay. You just need a flathead screwdriver to pop these bad boys out. Artlist I.O. I'm gonna need, I forgot this head, but <laughs> the uh... Yeah, anyways. Sniper skull pad, I would have cross her. There's a bolt holding on a heat shield. So you take that off. Artlist I O. That should be everything. Should be. 
Okay, we'll do some investigation and I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> Alright, so um, the fender liner doesn't come off completely. It's all that one piece that goes into the actual fender well. But um, you just pull it away and let's see if I can show you guys this. It's going to be kind of weird. So there's the uh, fog light right there. There's two screws on the right. Um, one will be with a socket and the other one will just be with a screwdriver. And then we'll just remove the wiring harness on it um, and then we will repeat the... Sorry, my phone was in the way. Um, we'll repeat the process on the um, passenger side. Okay, so we are going to use a 10 mil socket, one of the rare ones. <laughs> um, and we're going to remove the fog light and then use the screwdriver as well. So... <sighs> Uh, I sprayed it with a little bit of WD-40 because it was giving me some trouble. Uh, I'm going to use some vice grips to hold the bracket because um, I don't want to... It seems that it wants to spin a little bit and I don't want it to crack the bumper or the uh, mounting area. A little bit tighter. So I'm not grabbing the screw, I am grabbing the... There we go. Put it ten mil. <clears throat> Put it ten mil behind it. Come on, baby, where are you? I got the screw out. Um, I'm going to go under the car now and I'm going to use the screwdriver and take it off. It's pretty easy. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay. So the mounting points are here and just above it. Uh, the top one is a plastic threaded screw. Honestly, you can just push it out with a screwdriver from the uh, front end here. This one I had to clamp and remove it with the socket, but that other one you can just push out. And now we'll be able to just plop the light out and I unconnected the harness. There's the uh, screw I'm talking about. Little plastic guy. See if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. There's the fog light anyways. Um, yeah. It's pretty easy, it's not too hard, this stuff. So that is with fog lights. And this is all stuff on the bottom of the car. Okay. Um, I am gonna go tighten up the brackets on the SS3 
fogs and then we're gonna put them back here repeat the process and I'll show you guys um, what it looks like all right we got one of the fogs I'm um, just roughly plugged in uh, nothing's been bolted on or anything I'm just gonna check it to uh, turn it on Yo. All good? Yeah, open up. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I am going to uh, flip the plug uh, 180 degrees to uh, bring like the polarity on. But yeah, uh, hold on. So yeah, that one's on. Holy shit, is it ever bright? Pardon my French. But yeah, damn, that looks sick. It is crazy bright compared to the OEM fog. Crazy bright. Okay, I'm gonna button it up and I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like. All right guys, uh, as you can see, we are in the car. Um, the wheels, tires, fog lights, and taillights are all installed. I'll have to show you guys once I get out of the car, but I am just at a Starbucks drive drive through in the Toronto beaches. Um, I'm going a little crazy with the old quarantine. I hope you guys are all doing well and safe. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go pick up some coffee for my girlfriend and drop them off at her house um, because I haven't seen her. Uh, rightfully so, but um, yeah, uh, we're just at the drive through and drop it off and then I'll show you guys what the car looks like. It's driving really, really nice. Alright guys, so yeah, clearly you can see that the um, some of the new parts are on. Um, the STI kind of rear hatch accents, uh, the carbon fiber, those are on. Um, we got the JDM call-in uh, taillights from the speed line. Um, Sadly, got a little bit of a mark in shipping, so I'm gonna have Circuit Demon repair that, but uh, they look sweet at night. Uh, what else we get done? Yeah, okay, so the wheels. So these are 17 by 8 plus 45 offset NK TS10s, and I am running hub centric rings, um, but that doesn't really matter. Anyways, they're wrapped in 235, 50, 17. Firestone, Firehawk, Indy 500s, and these tires are incredible. Um, I was a little bit worried about rubbing or just the fitment because um, it is kind of close to the strut, but uh, no issues. They are super grippy, really quiet road noise. Um, the fitment of like this wheel, the tire, is literally perfect. It's flush. Um, it has a nice, nice flattish rounded sidewall not like the other tire I was running um, yeah I just think it gives a really nice stance to the car the fender wells look really great um, super happy with the fitment it's it's perfect it's literally perfect and I uh, blocked out the trim um, of the fog light bezel from um, premium auto styling um, I am going to spray it at some point with uh, black paint and then clear coat it, same with the grill. But for right now it works it works just fine and you can see I've got the Diode Dynamics SS3 uh, fog lights, they are the sport uh, driving version. They are super bright, um, yeah. Alright guys, um, it's a new day, uh, several days from last time I filmed that video. It is. Uh, 5 o'clock on April 8th. Um, I'm going to be working on the fog lights again. Um, I need to aim them down, so I'm going to have to take them out, uh, readjust the bracket. Um, I'm going to put my old uh, tail lights back in, um, the depots. I had one of the Collins actually get a chip, uh, like a little crack in shipping, stupidly. Um, so I'm going to be sending those to Circuit Demon, so I'm going to put the depots in for now, get that all figured out. And I'm going to clean up the garage, so I'll do a little uh, time lapse or whatever. i speed that up and clean the garage and bring the car and then we're going to get working on it. So yeah, let's get stuff ready.
Blacklist.io Music licensing reimagined. Finally, we're gonna do the uh, fog lights. I just built some, uh, like a second pop platform to the wood blocks I put under the tires when I uh, drive onto them. Um, my jack is uh, running kind of low on oil, so it's taking a long time to jack up the car. So I either need to get a new jack or I gotta get some new oil for it. But yeah, uh, it's on jack stands. Uh, the back wheels are chalked, and then there's the box of wood. Um, under the wheels and the um, jack is on the front uh, cross member. Um, we are going to start taking out the fog lights again. So I'll pull off the bezels. One bubble out. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, one bezel out. We're gonna get the other bezel out, and then we're gonna start by uh, opening up the. <sighs> All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna bring you down at my level, and we'll uh, do the rest. All right. So. We're gonna tackle the uh, right side first. I'm gonna take off the pop clips and the one uh, screw style horn. And then we'll be on our way. Okay, so uh, I'll bring you boys over here. Just adjust the camera. See if we can zoom in a bit. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. So there is one pop screw up here, and in the back here, there's the uh, nut that we're gonna have to take out. I'm gonna go from the bottom, but this top screw right here, you can just pop out. But it's all plastic. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna take it out and I'll show you how I'm gonna readjust it. Okay, so, hopefully this is a good angle. Let me see my hand, yeah, okay. Um, so, we are going to pop the headlight out, or sorry, the fog light. So yeah, uh, once again, the SS3 diode dynamics, um, fog lights, and these are the sport, Sport versions, yes. Okay, so these brackets, um, I'm gonna have to uh, loosen them and actually just tilt the head, the fog down this way. Um, so it is more uh, focused on the ground. So we are gonna have to get a, I do not know what these bits are called, but more like an Allen key style bit. Um, and just loosen that up and then We'll be on the good to go. Artlist IO. So let's um, I'm gonna take you off the tripod. Okay, so let's bring you around the side. Ooh, TS10s. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the fog is uh, 
aiming down at the floor. So we're gonna hop in the car. I'm gonna turn the fogs on just to see if there's a difference. I might have to do it on a garage, but um, if you can see the left, uh, the driver's side is here, the ending line is here, and the passenger side is up here, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to repeat um, the process of the side, I'm not going to film it, but um, uh, and I'll show you once it's all wrapped up, and then we're going to get on to doing the tail light install. Alright boys, so we've got both sides buttoned up. There's the bezel back on, the fog lights are adjusted, the splash guards are back on both sides. Um, I'm going to bring you guys around the other side, we're going to put the tail lights, uh, we're going to take off the columns and we're going to put it in the depots and then I'm going to send the one of the columns out to Circuit Demon. Um, but yeah, so that was an easy job, um, doing it the second time. So there we go, I will bring you around the uh, back and we'll get on with the head, the taillights. Alright guys, so we're at the back of the car now. Um, we're going to take off the passenger, no sorry, the driver's side rear um, taillight. This is the JDM Colin. So we're going to use a... Uh, 10 mil socket, take these two bolts off, and then we're going to pull the tail light out, um, undo the clip, and then we'll take it off. But very simple thing to do. So we're just going to kind of wiggle this out and pull. Okay. So we got to unclip this main harness here. And it might be a little tricky, but it's okay. There we go. So the taillight's out. Um, the one thing with Collins are they aren't directly plug and play. You're going to have to take off the wiring harness from your OEM tail lights and switch over the bulbs whether you have a JDM model or a USDM model so it does come with a instruction manual it's quite simple but the depots are 100% plug and play so here is just a little um, I think receiver that you have to stick in on the uh, metal of the car this is for the depot um, it's because the that taillight is 100% LED. Uh, I think this is just to convert it or whatever, but um, that's the only thing you have to do. You stick that onto the body. There's a one plug on the harness for that, and then the rest you just plug it in here. Repeat the process. So we'll grab the left rear uh, depot. Here's the wiring harness here. That's the one that you put into the receiver. In the main harness. We're gonna do that now. Okay, so that clip is on. We're gonna do a little receiver. Okay, so there's two clips, there's two uh, holes or whatever here, and a clip on the side of the body. This tab here lines up with this clip over here, and there's these two little metal uh, pins, whatever, and they go in here. You just kind of repeat the process, and it's quite easy. So. Okay, so that tail light is on, the fitment is good. Good. So, sorry if it was a weird angle, but 
Take those two bolts, the two 10 mils out, slide it out, take off the harness, and then we're gonna repeat the process on the passenger rear, and I'll show you how it looks. All right, guys, so both depots are back on. Uh, it's the same process for the passenger rear. Um, fitment's good, they're back on. Um, I'm gonna just turn on the car and make sure they're all working. They work, we'll get the Collins sent off to um, Circuit Demon. I think that's a wrap for today. I'll pull the car out of the garage and show you what it looks like. All right guys, so the car is back together. Got the depots on. Um, got the fog lights done again. Um, I'm gonna go to the gas station and pull up the air because my tires are a little bit low. Uh, and maybe give her a, a quick wash. Um, but yeah, so we'll do that. Thanks boys, um, have a, a good rest of the week. I guys, I hope you're all safe and well during this whole quarantine thing, it's really weird. I mean, the only plus is it's giving me time to work on the car uh, and do my schoolwork, but uh, yeah. Um, more stuff coming as always. Keep posted, follow me on Instagram at rumble.hatch. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, uh, you name it. Um, ask me anything, feel free. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.